Welcome back to Eduet channel. So today we will be discussing about transmission of zoonosis. So this topic comes under veterinary public health and the unit zoonosis. So we have been talking about zoonosis in the past lectures and all. So in this video we will be mainly focusing on the transmission of zoonosis. So please subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. So zoonotic diseases. So those diseases which will spread between animals and people. So CDC will be defining it simply as diseases that spreads between animals and people. So this is actually the emerging zoonotic diseases. So zoonotic diseases will be upgrading its version. <laughs> So live animal markets will be mainly giving us SARS, COVID-19, animal avian influenza and all. So COVID-19, rabies, avian influenza and Hendra Nipah avian influenza are those from the domestic animals. HIV, Ebola and all are from the wildlife hunting and poaching. So how zoonotic diseases are transmitted? So they are airborne, they are vectors, they are direct contact with animals, food born close proximity to animals. So there are many ways through which disease from animals will be coming to animal species or human beings. So it can be through the food bond that is microorganisms or other protozoan system and all will be coming from food or by direct contact with animals that is actually bites and all. So close proximity will be mainly by oral transmission or fecal oral uh, routes vector will be there and some are airborne so how zoonotic diseases are transmitted there are vector borne diseases airborne and waterborne diseases or proximity or direct contact or football so this will be the main classification of these things so moving to the introductory part so people can get disease where they may have contact with infected animals and insects that is from the zoos pet stores nature parks forest and bushy areas farms and animal fairs so transmission of zoonotic pathogens is mainly broadly classified into horizontal or the lateral one. That is actually the transmission of zoonotic pathogens among the members of same group. Horizontal strata will be applied here or different groups of same generation. Same generation. When the spread is between the same generation, it can be considered as a hot horizontal or lateral. So horizontal transmission is the transmission of infections between members of the same species that are not in a parent-child relationship. So this has been generalized to include transmission of cultural traits between humans and all. So it may be direct actually, uh, horizontal may be direct, that is transfer of infection directly into the body by direct contact, that is by direct contact with the infected blood or through open wound or genital organs or urine or saliva or feces, etc. So for example, physical touch leptospirosis, Droplets spread tuberculosis, bite or scratch of infected animal may be rabies. So moving to the indirect one, that is transfer of infectious agent indirectly through contact, air, vehicle or vector. So indirect contact, that is actually through the contact with a freshly infected major, that is placenta will be getting brucellosis, airborne which is avian influenza, vehicle borne will be staphylococcus. Actually, vehicle is an inanimate object material that is called in the scientific terms as a fomite. So it can be a bed, it can be a bucket, it can be water, it can be medical instrument, it can be serum, it can whatever it be. It will not be like any living agent, but it will be non-living agent that can contain the pathogen and that can transmit the infection. So staphylococcus will be mainly vehicle bone. That was vector bone, that is plague, strypnosomiasis, leishmaniasis, etc. So vector is an invertebrate host or arthropod which transmits the infection by biting or depositing the infective material on the skin. So in case of uh, phlebotomus which will be transmitting many diseases and also tabanus which will be transmitting many diseases, they will be uh, applying the fecal material or salivary materials on the skin of human beings and they will be transmitting a stage of protozoan. So vertical transmission is also there in case of many toxoplasmosis and all. So human contamination will be there in case of many problems. So direct contact will be in case of blood transfusion and all. So many tissue cysts and all is uh, directly getting into the human body through toxoplasmosis etc. 
So moving to the vertical, that is actually transmission of an infectious agent from infected mother to the offspring. So here, from one generation to the different generation. So passage of disease causing pathogen from mother to baby during the period immediately before and after birth will be there. Either transmission will be through the placenta or in the breast milk or through direct contact during or after the birth. So mechanism of vehicle and vector bond transmission is actually so mechanism is mechanical means uh, what vehicle is water example is uh, vibrio infection so vector that is flies that is shigellosis propagative example be staphylococcus in case of vector it's flea yersinia pestis developmental it's actually soil that is angiostomiasis that is actually a nematode and mosquito that is diarophyllia rheumatis that is also actually a nematode cyclopropagative that in case of soil it's strong hyaluronidase infection and in case of bug, that is trypanosoma cruzi, that is redo with bugs. So now routes of transmission, ingestion, example salmonellosis, inhalation, example tuberculosis, contact, example rabies, inoculation, example yellow fever, iatrogenic, uh, that is created by the doctor, it's actually tetanus, coitus, example brucellosis and campylobacteriosis, that is genital campylobacteriosis, etc. So role of animals in transmission of zoonosis. So, role of domestic animals in transmission of zoonosis, that is example dog in case of hydratidosis, pigs trichinosis, cat octoplasmosis, goat brucellosis, cat anthrax, equines glanders, sheep leptospirosis, poultry avian influenza. Though these animals will be mainly transmitting these zoonosis into the human welfare. So, now next is the role of domiciliated animals in transmission of uh, zoonosis, that is mainly rats, mice, bandicoots and badger, that is mainly plague and leptospirosis. So next is role of wild animals and birds in transmission of zoonosis. So wild animal will be uh, having a flora of disease and they will be transmitting whenever we are having contact with the wildlife. So that is example. Then next is role of cold blooded animals in transmission of zoonosis. That is fish borne zoonosis, lizard borne zoonosis, frog and toad borne diseases etc. Poikilothermic zoonosis that is actually transmitted from cold blooded animals. So vectors can transmit infectious disease both actively or passively. Biological vectors may transmit pathogen that can multiply in their bodies and can transport to be new hosts, etc. Mosquitoes and ticks and this will be bottom of flies and all. So next is mechanical vectors uh, that's coming under the flies and all. So many vectors borne diseases are zoonotic in nature that is Lyme disease, tick-borne encephalitis, West Nile fever, leishmaniosis, Crimean Congo, hemorrhagic fever, etc. So it appears in a population for the first time or it may have existed previously but it's rapidly increasing in incidence or geographic. There will be emerging infectious diseases and all. So, the vectors can be introduced. So, whenever uh, there are many countries where they will be completely having control over certain vectors. So, though they will be worried how this vector came into this restricted quarantined area. But it can be actually due to international trade and travel, animal movement, movement of migratory birds, changing agricultural practices, transportation by the winds. Thank you.